if it knows I'm here. Come on. We got a pop star. Is it true that I we had that we have we were able to get pop stars from before? That time where we found all the pop stars on the table? Because that was the first time I saw it. Also, we have an a weapon upgrade kit. We have many of them, in fact, so let's uh, work on that. I noticed something while I was editing. No, I missed mistook. There's a recharge rate, which is nice. Let's go with this one for the firing time, because that's pretty good. Very loud, very good. There's also this. Recoil, I don't need that. And there's also this. For range and handling, but everything is fine. I ended up not using the glue gun as much. Uh, so... Let's just get the range, because this can be used as a good sniper. And uh, we're good to go. Okay, so this is not going to get fixed anytime soon. I And I believe... Well, as long as there are not, not too many mimics out here, I believe I can just gung-ho that phantom without much problem and you are gonna give me some sweet beautiful stuff where are you <laughs> okay truck and shells as well very important to get all of this so this is where we came in from there's a turret here we could have done amazing things with it there's a dead person here as well Ash Lasser? She had two baseball gloves. Is that very common? What exactly did she give me? It was a fabrication plan. Yeah, I think so. And now we can explore down here as well as uh, a lot better than we could before. These are loading bays or something. Oh, yeah, they are the loading bays from the outside. Oh, look at how. Like that. That's all sideways. I like that a lot. There's a wrench. Electric junctions that are broken. Damage detected. I will now die. You've been hit by an arc of electricity from a broken electric junction. Glue temporarily stops. I know. I have one health at the moment. Why would it turn that on, though? Why would you do it like I did? No, you wouldn't. There's no reason to do it like that. Ooh, I'm healing up to 40? Oh, because I have the... Um, that that uh, Neuro mod. That gives me extra health. Oh, speaking of which, we have some Neuro mods that we can work on. Ah, uh, I'm gonna need a little bit more toughness for that. It's fine. We're gonna find Neuro mods. A plenty. We're not gonna make them. But we're gonna find them. One synthetic material. Just the one. Oh, these are the entrances to the other side. Cool. Okay, well, now I know where I'm at. And, uh... It's on the... Wait, is it the entrance to the other side? No, it can't be. It needs to be upstairs. One. All personnel are to avoid the area until repairs have been completed and safety checks confirmed. Affected personnel will be contacted for temporary reassignment. This is a pre-recorded message. Yeah, well, yeah. It makes sense that it would be. Let me put a lot of this stuff in here. And by a lot, I mean all of it. There it is. Gimme. Unfortunately, it's mostly cubes these days. I wonder why. Is it randomized? I just got... I have so much stuff. It's unbelievable. Okay, so... Yeah, I have, I have a... Well, a little little stuff. Uh, let's make our key, first off. Morgan use arming key. Used to prime the Talos 1 Superforge reactor to self-destruct. Must be used in conjunction with Alex use, uh, Alex use arming key. Let's create it. looking key. It's 
It's a cool looking key, and we have a portable turret, but it's not actually portable in our inventory, so uh, let's uh, just make upgrade kits if I wanted to. And also, not that, I wanted to look at our health kits. I'm going to be a little bit more uh, happy-go-lucky with my health kits. Do you guys work? You see, it's this sort of stuff that matters a lot in, in games like these. Well, it doesn't matter a lot, but it matters a little. Are you... What are you doing? Why are you weird? You know, it's this sort of stuff that doesn't really... It's not a puzzle or anything. It's just... This is how the machines worked. I say works because they're not going to work again. They're going to blow up. And we came from down there, or from up there anyway, so... Anyway, we have what we came here to do. We have a destroyed turret over here. Hey. Holy shit. Remind me never to cross you. You killed him. Let me open the door, man. Dude. I barely could understand you. I don't want to go right now. Last time I went through a door at the, at the request of somebody, I, I I got hit in the back. Or not really, but it was a little bit traumatic. Uh, I need to just complete looting this place. Oh, that's what this one does then. Oh, this might be a puzzle. Oh, that one doesn't seem to be working. Or does it? Huh. Oh, and we can activate... That's what these are. We have a turret friend. Weapon upgrade kit. And the turret is getting upset because I kicked it. And that's it. Yeah, that one was a thing, actually. So, I stand corrected. <laughs> it's a little bit of a puzzle. But not too much. Let's just make sure that these doors don't open. Yep, this is that uh, first door. There was a door downstairs, which was the door I was remembering, but the dead body is on the other room, not here. So... I never made it up there. And it's actually relatively easy. As long as you do this. So, that means that I could have gone there without his help. In fact, I need to go up there. What is this? Container 33. Oh! This thing. This doesn't have anything on this side. Okay, let's mess with him. I mean, not, not, not mess with him, but... Hey! I don't think these PPN pistols are gonna do the trick. Not much choice. I mean... We did a check of all Igwe's equipment. All genuine, no organic matter. He's clean. Gonna have to keep a watch on Igwe. He stirred up some of the organisms getting here. Might do it again. Have we seen Igwe yet? We haven't. I don't think he is... That's the other Lawrence person that I need to look into. But he's not He's not the cook. Her doctor Igwe was floating in a cargo crate outside the ship. If he stayed there, he might have survived longer than any of us. Hmm. Dr. Igwe is blessed. It was fortunate you came along when you did. So you guys are looking... Oh, yeah. Whoa, there's a lot of them. Hey. They're just phantoms. Dr. Yu. Dr. Maddox? Uh, she's in black? I don't actually know what that means. Engineering? No movement. Room secure. On this side, anyway. Kevin Haig. Chief Elazar will want to talk to you. Dr. Yu, were you up in crew quarters? Have you seen any sign of my wife, Nicole? Last I heard from her, she was on her way there. If you find her, can you help get her here? 
The thought that she may have become one of those creatures, it... I'm sorry, Doctor Yu, that was out of line. Forgive me. Actually, I don't remember Nicole, dead or alive. I do remember that I have a key that I need to go back to, up in crew quarters. Uh, it was specifically Danielle Show's girlfriend cabin. I forget her name. Yvonne? I don't remember. I don't know who was supposed to maintain the escape pods and life support, but I hope they paid the price for their negligence. A suite of combat neuromods would be welcome right now. We can't wait here forever. The crew may need our help. Goddamn escape pods. Not one of them worked. Huh. Yeah, I wonder why. Have you seen that golden stuff they make? It's beautiful, but fills me with dread. Anyway, Chief Elisar's waiting on you. Watching the main door. Chief Elisar, that's not Elisar. Where is she, actually? Wait, why is the self-destruct key there? Is that Alex's self-destruct key? Uh, we're going to figure that out. Tamiko Hayashi. Captain Elazar will want to speak to you. We only recently learned you were still on the station. Nothing will get past me. I'm ready, Dr. Yu. Officer Hayashi, Dr. Yu. Officer, then. So they, they are security, not engineering. The blue one. Sometimes I associate blue with the, with the cops. And then it makes sense in my head that it would be security. But other times, for some reason, I just think of it as engineering. This is Gus's computer. Uh, and so sometimes I see blue uniforms and I'm like, oh, that's that's engineering. But anyway, uh, yeah, Reployer, Reployer. Without a space at the end, did you see that? We got utilities over here. Cage temporary storage. Please notify Gerald Wildman of any changes in inventory. And uh, cage temporary storage. So cage one and cage two. I don't know what that's for, but because I don't know what the cages are. Mr. Magill. Magill? Magill. As a safety precaution, we have disabled crim critical machinery required to open the exterior door in Cargo Bay B. And as added insurance, the door has been welded shut. If that bay is for storage only, then we want to be certain there can be no accidental opening. Restoring the bay door to, fully fu to full function will be partially and practically impossible. Thank you. Wait, what? The exterior... Cargo B door is welded shut. Did we see that when we were in Cargo Bay? Or is it... Because we're in Cargo Bay right now. I don't know if that is any of the doors that we saw, but it might have been. So, unresolved guts incident. Ooh, this might in explain why the why there was a weave all over the place. Also, the game just reminded us of the weave. The, or is it weave? What do they call that? The coral, that's the one. Uh, the Weavers created or other things. Hey, Anders, got your message about the shipment failure. I dispatched an engineering operator to check it out, and something weird happened. Telemetry shows it ran into some sort of energetic lattice work. The readings were unlike anything I've seen. Side effect from a psychotronics project. In any case, the operator was able to move through it and investigate, but shortly after it became unresponsive. I'm going to have to get human eyes on it, but all our people are tied up in a critical fuel t transfer. When that's done, I'll send someone to check it out. Thanks. And this is from Enders Klein. That name is not unfamiliar. And the reply here is, yo, find anything? No, actually, this is Gus McGill. To Enders Klein. This, no, wait. What the hell does that mean? From Gus McGill to Enders Klein. From Enders Klein to Gus McGill. Oh, no, no, Gus McGill. Okay, so Anders Klein is the one that said, uh, find anything. Gus McGill is apparently the one that went and checked. But Gus died over there. Didn't really make it back to uh, Guts. Catastrophic accident report. There was a blast in cargo bay A. Exterior doors ruptured. All the bulkheads door... Uh, all the bulkhead doors are automatically sealed, but several of my people are missing. Dr. Igwe from Psychotronics was in there, and he's gone as well. Akaterina said or Ekaterina, said uh, she saw a floating orb drift over the chlorine trifluoride container and detonate it. Possibly some kind of static discharge, but all the dampeners were activated. Secondary blasts went off not long ago in fuel storage, but I have that sealed tight, and no one was there. So these would probably be the cysts, the floating orb. It could be something else, but for it to detonate, it sounds like it is a cyst. Something is going on, nobody's calling me back. Let me know as soon as you get this. I'm going to take the rest of my people over to life support as a precaution. Okay, let's mess around with the key or with the cages. 
Oh, wait a minute. These are the cages, aren't they? On this side, there are no cages. Oh, there's a... There's an elevator. And we have a Reployer over here. You know what would be funny? Is if we... A recycled little Reployer, and it had exotic material in it. Oh, yeah, there's... Hey, what's up? Hi. Yeah, if I shine a light on you, it doesn't look quite as cool. You walking sideways. And them not making any noise is really weird, but then again, it's the double glass and whatnot. Uh, okay, so I am thinking these are the cages. And I can't ask these fine gentlemen and gentlewomen in here um, about why that is. Or if that is, I should say. We got some Q-beam cells. Nothing majorly important. Weapon upgrade is pretty decent. Turret there, scaring me a little. We got an asteroid fragment. Glue cannon. Potentially good things elsewhere, but not really. Don't worry, that is not a mimic. That was just me kicking this, apparently, in a very orderly fashion. Which doesn't usually happen. Hmm. This doesn't seem like it's working. Am I supposed to push it? Or do that. At least I know... No, it, nothing is getting out of here. Uh, we got Disruptor Stun Gun, Fabrication Plan, and uh, we have Neuro Mods as well. We have a Supply Crate for a Q-Beam, the weapon itself, not the thing that makes the Q-Beams, and mm, this is going to be interesting. There we go, and now you're exposed. So that's it, Austin. I am... Uh, Going upstairs, because I like it that way. Oh, no, actually, wait. I want to get rid of all the things. Oh, no, we still got the little roundy things. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, getting up there. Easy. Yes, a little. That was that was a weird grab. But Dr. Igwe, Igwe is up here. Hmm. You guys really need to scan the whole place, because you never know where the mimics are going to be. Dr. Yu, again, I want to thank you for the timely rescue. I hope you recall me. Dr. Igwe. Dio Igwe. Your brother, Alex, brought me to the station to head up Neuromod research. I have one, but no aptitude template. Saving it, but well, now might be best. Here, yeah, I'm sure you could make better use of it. You have one. I don't. This guy is the one that we read about him, about him being a very good scientist, but apparently having unorthodox ideas. Um. Apparently, those. Unorthodox ideas impl impl um, are about getting prisoners to be transformed into exotic material, basically, because that's how they make the neuromods. He probably knows, right? Microgravity upsets my equilibrium. I need to steady myself after the slow roll of the crate. I could feel it turning, you know? My stomach along with it. Closest I've ever come to vertigo and claustrophobia. Must be a neuromod that could cure that. Actually, there probably are drugs that can cure that. Or also going to sleep. Uh, you're gonna be alright? I don't know where you're going. Cargo bay A. Oh, that's the one that's welded. Possibly the one that's welded shut. I don't know where you're going, but please don't get yourself killed. I assume he's not gonna... The officers collected those supplies. They're not for you. Oh, I'm sorry. S excuse me. Okay. Morgan? I thought... 
I don't know what I thought. It's good to see you. Is Transtar mounting a rescue operation? I was in fuel storage when... when the fire broke out and everyone began running. But they weren't running from the fire. It was these shapes. I had contained the fire and I was trying to reach the power supply when Al, Officer Rose, came and got me out. I'm glad he did. I didn't know what was going on or anything about those things. Everyone I worked with, they're dead, aren't they? I wonder if one of the creatures caused the explosion in fuel storage. Are they intelligent? Did they plan this? I heard all the escape pods malfunctioned. All of them. How is that possible? Yep. Yeah. Don't quite. How did this all happen? I don't quite know how that's possible. Let me just drop the things I got. I really don't need them. Let's see if she says anything. Of course she doesn't. It'd be hard to program that. Hey. Well, you're all gonna die. I am on... Uh, <laughs> if only I could have put out the fire. It's contained, but... I could have done more. We still have to see fuel storage. I don't think we've we've been to fuel storage. Um, our mission is actively to collect this, the self-destruct key. So it's not like there's any question here about what we're doing. I mean, may, there may be a question. If only I had reached the power supply in time. To be completed within six hours of incident. Location fuel storage. The accident occurred during fuel transfer. The blast walls held. Now the blast door is closed and the damage contained, but we lost some crew in there. Power has been knocked out to multiple cargo si systems. Can't get the resources I need to get in there. Everyone is tied up. I don't know why I'm fi filing this or filling this out, except I don't know what else to do at this point. Talos is falling apart. And uh, it's just a little note. Pioneers of Space Industry. Oh yeah, we the book about the DLC, I believe. I'm not going to take their vodka. Frayed wire and spatial delivery. Trevor, Pulsar slammed the Talon's engine into overdrive, praying to Zloar he'd make the gap in the asteroid field before the Mordrax raiders caught up to him. We read this one already as well. Gerald Wildman, also dead. Good morning. The delivery shuttle arrived earlier with chlorine trifluoride aboard. It has been offloaded and awaits you in cargo. I, I need everyone involved with the transfer to review procedures and protocols at the start of their shift today, as you will be lucky individuals that you will be the lucky individuals that get to escort these contents these contents to fuel storage. I don't think I need to remind you what chlorine trifluoride will do if you dis mishandle it. Just ask Enoch. Stick to procedures and everything will be fine. Once it's secured, I'll give you all the res the rest of the shift off. You're welcome. So if this can confirm, that's just a, fl a frowny face. Hazmat transfer today. If this is confirmed, then it means that this all started because they... They were just... Because everybody was reviewing procedures and protocols... Mr. Wildman, Dr. Dio Igwe is assigned to your area temporarily. I have encouraged him to stay out of your way and avoid... This is Wildman. Mm. Uh, and avoid interacting with cargo bay personnel. There... Oh, this is on purpose. There are some incoming materials I'd like him to handle directly. His work is confidential and he answers directly to me. And this is to Bellamy. Or Bellamy. Whatever. So if you have any issues, please contact my office. They did this on purpose. Or maybe not the explosions, necessarily. But I'm wondering if the... I'm wondering why the chlorine, trifluoride, or whatever, was here. If it's a coincidence or not. Because it feels like it isn't. Or just a coincidence. Obviously, it is a coincidence, but is it just a coincidence? There's nothing up here. Please don't murder anybody on our way down. Then on this side... Exterior breach detected. Can't really tell what's outside. 
It's not that it's not loaded into the level. It's just, uh... <laughs> uh, it's just that it doesn't show. You guys down there enjoy that. Stand clear. God, watching those things move makes me sick. Don't watch them then. Dr. Yu, Mika told me. Quentin. Alf. What is it doing? Oh my God, did it? Yes. I think I'm going to be sick. It just made another one of those things. Like it, like it pulled it right out of Enoch's corpse. Ugh, corpse, maybe. I don't know, maybe it saved him. It could still be Enoch. Does it look like it? Sam, promise me you'll kill me if I ever end up like that. Sarah will get us out of this. She got us this far. We're safe in here. For now, I'm going to check the perimeter. Alfred Rose and Sam Hurts. Yeah, I didn't actually see. We know what they do, though. The weavers do to corpses. I work for a living. Captain Elazar's over there. <laughs> Don't tell her I said that. That thing. It was like it was sewing Enoch into one of their silhouettes. They can't even respect our dead. Goddamn waiting is driving me crazy. They're better than being dead. Some of the officers reported seeing glowing structures. Called it coral. The creatures are making it. But why? Well... The question why... The game kind of wants us to ask that. But there's no reason to ask that. Don't know if Wiggy, or Dr. Igwe, is lucky to be here or not. Might have been safer in his crate. <laughs> All right, I'll be back to check on you. Thank you, Al. Oh, he came here to check on Dr. her. Dr. Yu, hey. heard you found the body of a smuggler in Cargo Bay. Quentin Purvis? Mika filled me in. I knew him. I didn't know he was involved in the smuggling ring on the station. Thought he was a friend. Guess I wasn't looking closely enough. No, he was a friend. You just don't know it. If I die, please, throw me out of an airlock, burn me, but don't let them make me into one of them. I've been watching them for hours. And I still don't know how many of them are out there. They could be anything. Anyone. Maybe they're looking for stable bodies. Homes. They want to live inside us. Like a disease. Attention. Incoming shipments from Earth have been temporarily delayed. Personnel are directed to clear up backlog deliveries until notified by a supervisor. What did he say? What the hell? Dude! Where do you suppose they came from? Dude! The way they just consumed Enoch made him one of them. Is that what they want? <clears throat> you keeping the fort? The what? I don't understand. But it's just a saying. It, it means, uh, are you doing okay? Oh. I am, Officer Rose. Al, thank you. Good to hear it. He's... He's saying the things they say. L the lines, specifically. Not just the kind of things that people say. He's saying the lines, on purpose. Like, they wrote that on purpose. To me, to know the no, the no, now that they say that. The, what he said. Even if we're dead, it won't be over. We'll still be at their mercy, like Enoch, like the others. She said it again. I used to wish we weren't alone in the universe. Now, I wish we were. You jerk, you're the, you're the line dispenser, aren't you? Dude, did you hear that? What the hell does that mean, though? 